We've talked about having a beautiful lawn and it's not just about cylinder mowing the lawn. It's about the other things that we do. So let me just quickly talk through the six additional cartridges that are available to go into your Kensington mower. They're available in 14, 17 and 20 inch widths. And let me start with this one. This is a 10 bladed cartridge. The cartridge here spins, the blade spins at exactly the same speed as a six blade one does. But what that means is it gives me more clips. We've produced another video on the difference between clip rates and please look that up. But the thing we're going to get with a 10 bladed cylinder over a six bladed cylinder is just a finer cut. And you will see that the finer cut that, that this produces uh, is absolutely amazing, especially when you go down to 15 millimeters height of cut and lower. You must then use the 10 bladed cylinder. If your intention is to stay at 20 millimeters and above, then really you'll get no advantage from using this 10 bladed cylinder. Next is the most versatile cartridge that we have in the range, and this is the Scarifier. The Scarifier is made up of a lot of spring tines. These spring tines gently rake into the surface and remove primarily loose material. It's fantastic for picking up leaves and acorns and pine needles, but really what it's designed for is the cultivation of the lawn, and it really will stand lateral growth up and uh, any long strands of grass that are laying, laying down, weed leaves that lay down, it can bring back up ready for mowing as well. And after you've applied iron to your moss and it's all dyed, then again, this will rake it out. The beauty is with this system is that this cartridge puts all the debris you pick up into the grass box. So job done. Verticut. If you've bought the Scarifier cartridge, this has to be next on your list. It does remove organic material from the depth of the sward, but the thing I particularly like about this is the cuts that it makes. You get new growth coming out of those cuts, and that, that really helps with increasing the density uh, of the sward. Next is a slightly more aggressive cartridge, and you can see these hook-shaped blades are spaced further apart. If they were any closer than this, you'd be, you'd be pulling out of uh, whole chunks of your lawn. But this is just for that, that little bit more aggression, and especially for autumn time cultivations. Use it in a couple of different di directions, probably in a diamond pattern is best, and this will really help to alleviate compaction and be more aggressive in the way that you remove the material. The combination of these three cartridges really does give you a great treatment plan for your lawn. The brush cartridge, again, this can be used for a gentle removal of thatch uh, or moss, uh, but I like to use this if I've got a high number of worm casts in springtime and autumn and I need to just agitate those and spread them around. If I'm top dressing and I want to, to level out the top dressing, I can actively do this with the brush. And finally, this is the aerator cartridge. This cartridge doesn't have any drive on the side. Uh, and as this goes forward, these little spikes just go into the ground. It's not an amazing amount of depth, and it's particularly useful if you've got a very delicate sward uh, sitting on a coconut thatch layer, uh, coconut, coconut husk thatch layer, and what this will do is just start to poke holes in that to allow the water to get down into the sward. The, it do, it's not a highly aggressive uh, aeration tool and you need to be aware of that. So with the combination of all of these cartridges you can see how you've got a complete Greenkeeper's toolkit all in this one mower, the Alec Kensington.